You can do some really incredible things with custom copilots within Microsoft Copilot Studio, including having it directly connect to custom connectors. And I want to show you exactly how to do that within Microsoft Copilot Studio right now. So originally kind of the thought that I think Microsoft had with connectors is having to go to connectors through a Power Automate flow. And that's kind of how it operated directly off of launch. But thankfully, Microsoft Copilot Studio is, you know, advancing really quickly and you can now lo no longer need a Power Automate flow in order to access custom connectors within Microsoft Copilot Studio. And so here I am on my coffee co-pilot and what you're going to want to do is navigate over to topics and I've actually, there's nothing in this topic, but just created a sample topic for us here. Let's say that, you know, like I said, this is my coffee co-pilot and I need to utilize a custom connector in order to process uh, coffee orders for whatever reason, right? I can come in here and underneath my topic, I can select this add node. And you're going to see add in action. And there's a couple different tabs here. I think these are kind of sneaky and you'll find that connector is under preview. These basic actions are obviously basic actions, but are going to include your power automate flows. But underneath connector, you're going to see any available connectors that this copilot has, including custom ones that you have built. And I can, I can promise you that this works because I have used this in a real world scenario where we needed to go and access information with a custom connector. And I'm not talking about how to create a custom connector in this video. I feel like I would be doing the amazing people that have created content on that a disservice for me to try to also now do that. So highly recommend if you are needing to know how to create one to find some of those resources. I'll link some down in the description down below. But nonetheless, once your connection is created, you can add it directly here. And the experience is actually exactly the same as a Power Automate flow on what it kind of looks like. And so let me just continue just using this but nonetheless imagine this is your connector here this it would look just like this and this will show the connectors inputs that are also defined and what you need to put in here are what are called variables and you can get gather variables in your copilot in a host of different ways and in my example of ordering a coffee we have um, we want to be able to know the coffee that they want, like the type of coffee, what they ordered, the size that they want, and their name for whatever reason. And, you know, I need to also now gather these variables somehow throughout the conversation, however that best looks for you. That may be adding in question nodes above to gather that information, and then you take the outputs of those. If I click this, you know, and then I take the outputs, the saved response as variable one into and make it as an input on my connector. Or what I would actually recommend more than that is utilizing what are called topic inputs. Let me flip over to this side just so I know you can see this well. And underneath details of your topic, another sneaky little tab, you're going to find topic inputs. And in here you can define variables as well. And what the reason I would recommend you use this is this is going to, you know, when you add questions to the pane, the conversation canvas here, it follows, the copilot will follow a very structured routine. It will ask this question, and then it will ask this question, and then it will ask this question. But if you use topic inputs, it leans on generative AI to gather those questions, the answers to those variables a little bit more and is a little bit better experience. And I guess specifically if you're like, bro, what are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. Say, for example, in a message, I said, hey, my name is Griffin, and I would like to order a plain black small coffee, right? In that, in that prompt, I submitted the answer to all three of these variables. And so if I was utilizing topic inputs, it would be able to understand, okay, coffee, black, size, small, name, Griffin, and go on about its day down to now the custom connector. But if I hard-coded hard coded those questions into the canvas, then it's going to say, Hey Griffin, 
you know, say the first one is what sort of coffee do you like? And then I respond with, you know, black coffee, small Griffin. It's then going to say, what size coffee do you want? And, you know, so thinking about that experience, that would not be very good. It would kind of feel like it repeats itself. So just think about the best way to gather inputs for you. If you feel like I'm not really answering your questions and have really specific, a really specific situation or maybe some nuances or just would like a little bit of help, be sure to follow the first link down in the description down below. I would love to connect with you one on one. And because I am super passionate about learning more about Microsoft Copilot Studio and would love to maybe help you learn something too. So be sure to reach out to me there. Now, something that is really cool on top of custom connectors, another preview feature at this point in time is being able to directly add Dataverse as a knowledge source to your Copilot. Up, I'm not sharing my screen anymore, but the knowledge source of your Copilot. If you wanna know how to do that, you need to follow and watch this video here to know how to do that. If you thought this was cool or want to come and hang out with me on Wednesdays, you can check us out on the Power Talks podcast where we talk to all sorts of experts and Microsoft MVPs about things that we're talking about on this channel. Thank you for being here. I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.